And on with it, and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Simon Rundle. Your occupation? I'm a Church of England vicar. And your chosen subject? Monty Python. Monty Python. In two minutes starting now. What's the name of the march by Sousa that was used as the opening title music for Monty Python's Flying Circus? Liberty Bell. Yes, which of the original six Pythons did not appear in the final BBC series, although he's credited as a writer for several episodes? John Cleese. Yes, during the Inquisition's interrogation of an old woman on suspicion of heresy, what does Cardinal Biggles poke her with before Cardinal Fang is ordered to fetch the comfy chair? Uh, a, a washing up rack. Uh, cushions, actually. The third series features an all-England contest for summarising the work of which writer in 15 seconds, once in a swimsuit and once in evening dress? Marcel Proust. Yes, which female singer appears as herself, along with Ringo Starr of the Beatles, at the end of an episode in the third series? Lulu. Yes, the giant foot that appears at the end of the original opening titles was taken from a painting of Venus and Cupid by which artist? Bronzino. Yes, who produced the first four episodes of Monty Python before handing over to Ian McNaughton? Pass. Which Second World War battle is reenacted in a muddy field by the Batley Towns Women's Guild? The, the Battle of um, the Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor, yes. What is the name of the character played by Michael Palin in rolled up trousers and a knotted hanky who tells a doctor, My brain hurts? E.L. Gumby. Yes. Who is the surprise inclusion in the German philosopher's football team playing against Greece? Beckenbauer. Yes, what is the name of the venue for the 127th Upper Class Twit of the Year show, won by Gervais Brook Hamster? Hurlingham. Yes, when Michael Palin books an argument, what reason does the receptionist give for sending him to see Mr. Barnard rather than to Mr. Dubique? Because he's a bit, a little bit conciliatory. Well, yes, what is the full name of the animated character who appears in episode number 23 where his teeth are seen dancing to the music of a fairground organ? Conrad Poos. Yes, which spoof game show presented by Michael Palin has a postal address of Behind the Hot Water Pipes, Third Washroom Along, Victoria Station? Blackmail. Yes, according to the subtitle of episode six, which imaginary Hungarian award had it been entered for by the BBC? The Golden Stoat. Actually, actually it was the Zinc Stoat. But that was very close. It was the Zinc Stoat of Budapest, as it happens. Uh, you had just one pass. It was John Howard Davis who produced the first four episodes before handing over to Ian McNaughton. You have, Simon, 12 points.